Good morning, it's Monday and it's the first day of me recording this studio vlog that I've been threatening everyone with for many years. Um, I've wanted to do this on Yantistry for ages. My cats are fighting. <laughs> that's a good start. That, that's not an omen, I hope, but um, I've been wanting to do this for ages and I feel like while all this big stuff is happening for Woe Dude, this is the perfect time for me to do it. How long it's gonna last, I don't know. And whether I actually upload this or whether I chicken out and don't, is that remains to be seen. <laughs> Um, I got a letter through the post this morning that says, um, Laura, bad boss at Woe Dude, <laughs> which is really funny anyway. Um, and I don't know who it's from and I probably don't deserve it <laughs> because, um, it's just super out of the blue, but I will... Um, I thought it would be fun for you guys to see what it is. So, I will, first of all, <laughs> it, oh wow. It is masks and look at the color of that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh wow. Yeah, like, check these out and also these have been left raw so that they can be kind of altered I guess to the shape of my big old head so sweet okay <laughs> it says it says Laura hey lovely it's me your crazy Instagram stalker Nisa Green or Naomi as I've known in the real world during your live the other day, you said you just had a black mask. I know you were looking for someone to make funky, colorful masks for Woe Dude, but I don't really have the skills. I beg to differ, but okay. I have, however, made a few masks for me, family, and friends, so I thought I'd make a couple of pretty colorful masks for you. Can't be having you go into the shops in a boring mask. It is really, it is literally just black, and it's, it makes me look very mysterious, I'm sure, but. I hope this wasn't too creepy. It's just, you just make such lovely, positive, cool things. I wanted to send some color and loveliness your way. Hope you made it through my terrible chicken scratch. Peace and love. That's so sweet, man. That's honestly like been such a nice start to the week. Oh man, Naomi, if you're watching this, which I really hope you are, that's honestly like the sweetest. And the paper is beautiful. Let's see. Um. That's so sweet, man. That's such a nice surprise. Thanks, dude. What looks sick? My room. My room? What an Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, sick. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So I have been working this afternoon on the Give Me Some Space sticker packs. At the moment, I am using cello for these packs. And the main reason being that I've got so much of it in this house that um, I kind of just want to use it and just, I don't just want to throw it in the bin. For now, I'm using cello, but I will upgrade at some point to the kind of biodegradable stuff, which I think is made out of potato starch. Um, these are the sticker packs. There are eight kind of de fairly decent sized stickers in them. And these are glossy and I did a um, a poll on my Instagram stories and it was literally like 49.51% on whether people preferred matte or gloss. So I think I might offer both. I might be just 
making a rod for my own back there, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> so I've been working on the top tabs, um, which have turned out fine. I kind of, I wanted to keep them like fairly basic just because the stickers can be the focus and there are some super cute ones in here. If you've seen them on my Instagram stories, there are little rockets and UFOs and planets and a shooting star and all that good stuff. Um, a parcel just arrived and I think it might be my new camera. So I thought it might be fun to unbox it while my son screams in the kitchen. <laughs> scared to drop it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh damn. Oh wow. I'm so gonna break this. <laughs> Please send help. <laughs> so, excuse the mess everywhere. The monkey camera. Hold on. What I'm hoping is that the rest of this vlog is not terrible quality. <laughs> this hopefully won't be bad quality anyway, but um, yeah, it's very pretty. No, so I just came out of the supermarket. I just did my weekly shop and picked up one of these because frankly, they're delicious. This isn't sponsored, but Starbucks Hit me up, you know what I'm saying? First of all, shopping is super weird now. Like, less weird than it was in like April time when everybody was kind of like standing in a queue for four hours outside the supermarket, like staring at each other as if we were all like hiding guns in our belts or something. <laughs> um, that was that was weird, but this is still just so strange. And how, the fact that we've, we've just, we've just accepted that this is normal now, that just, everybody walking around with half their face covered up is just super super normal now somehow i just i, I find it fascinating and i also kind of love how divisive the whole mask wearing thing is like just just wear the mask just wear it nobody's gonna be so distraught by missing out on your dazzling smile that you need to keep it off like come on just don't be a baby so i'm just having five minutes where i'm sitting in my car before i go back to my lovely children <laughs> who are currently with their uncle and he is probably if he watches this he's gonna be like you cow you should just come home i have just bought a whole week's worth of food most of which is gonna go in the bin because my children are extremely fussy hopefully this is a phase and they'll grow out of it soon right please isn't that that's that's what's gonna happen isn't it so I'm going to drive home now and I'm going to take you on my really nice scenic drive home. I'm literally 20 minutes from the nearest supermarket, my house. So I have to do this drive every time I need some food. But I actually, I love driving and I love cars and I love just, I, I like everything about the whole, the whole deal. And the fact that I live somewhere 
so gorgeous is really, really helpful. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of that drive now and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Put it up there for now, baby. You just said he hates me now because I said, um, if you don't give me them back, we will get mommy. I said to him, Mommy said that if you don't give me my necklace back, you'll be an ice cream man. And Dexter said, No, she didn't. And I was like, Yes, she did. And he was like, No, she didn't. And then It's a leg sword. It's a sword that legs hold. Pretty cool, huh? Hello, hello. It is now Thursday and um, we just got back from taking my youngest for his little flu nasal spray thingy. Um, so they have been given croissants to keep them. I know, how very, how very European of me. <laughs> um, they have been given croissants and they are watching Dennis the Menace. Some proper like 90s uh, throwback film goodness um, and I'm standing in the kitchen also eating a croissant because I'm going to go and do some work in a minute and I'm procrastinating and putting it off for as long as humanly possible um, because that's that's just how I how I do things how I like to do things I got a whopping great customs charge today, which I think is for the um, Pop Mart Pucky vinyl figures that I've ordered for the shop, which I'm so excited about. And I've talked about this on my Instagram already, but I'm honestly just so excited to see what people get. So if you order one of them, if you decide to order one of the um, vinyl toys that I'm stocking when the launch happens, please, please show me what you got because I'm so excited for you. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love vinyl toys and I especially love blind boxes. So for me, a big box 
full of small blind boxes that I can't open is honestly going to be torture for me. So if you do buy one, please share it with me and let me, but share, yeah, just share it with me. Just, you can have it every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I'll have it for the rest of the week. <laughs> um, no, but share pictures with me because I really, really want to see what you get. I've also got some Momiji um, adventure series vinyl toys on their way. So I'm really excited about them too, but they won't be here for another few weeks, I don't think. I'm still very nervous about getting everything done on time. Um, um, but this week has actually been really quite productive because I managed to finish the sort of sticker packs and I've taken pictures of those and put them on the website and I shared some on my Instagram the other day. I managed to get a new design for the milk carton style um, drinks bottles done, which is good but it never feels like enough. I also put yarn to stream on holiday mode with the sort of aim to just close it soon, which is kind of making me a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Because of the amount of time that I've put into it and because of the amount of love that's gone into yarn to stream and the amount, of, the amount of orders I've had and the amount of good reviews I've had and all that kind of stuff, because of that, it's really difficult to let it go running two shops at the same time is quite it's quite stressful it's quite difficult to keep on top of so um especially once once <laughs> ow my hand um ow especially once the website's up as well i'm gonna have like three different places and that my sales would be coming from and that my orders would be sort of logged in and it would all just be carnage so i think i might um have to just kind of figure out what I'm doing with that. So I don't know, it's been a busy week and it's only like two thirds of the way done. Hello everyone, it's Friday. It's Friday afternoon because I've had quite a busy day so far and I have not um, had a chance to do very much. So um, it's now like five o'clock or something, half five maybe. But while I was out today, some things arrived, which I thought would be fun to check out. I already know what this is. So this first parcel has come from one of the stockists for the new website, which I'm really, really excited about. And do you know the problem I'm gonna have with all of this stuff is like not keeping it all? Because I've kind of tried to curate like a collection of things that I know I would really want to buy because I figure if I really want to buy them then someone else might really want to buy them so I've done that and actually all it's done is like make it really difficult for me to actually um, sell up any of it because I might just keep it all so all of this stuff is um, from the amazing Amy at Prickle People and it's honestly the cutest stuff I've ever seen in my life. Um, so I'll show you some of the fun stuff that's gonna be stopped. So we've got these pizza earrings. I hope that they are in focus. Are they in focus? Quite. There we go, we got them in the end. So these are some little pizza studs, which I really, really love. Some fried egg and toast with butter, obviously. You, toast without butter is pointless. Dinosaur studs, which are honestly some of my favorite things that she makes. The problem that I have with Amy's stuff is I don't have proper pierced ears because mine are like were stretched. And because of that, I can't actually wear studs and it's heartbreaking. You can only use like the fish hook kind so that they can like, hook over my gross, like weird ear thing. Leopard print dinosaurs. I can show you these as well, because these are the same ones in a different colorway, and they're amazing. This is amazing. Donut brooches are, I'm being weird, sorry. <laughs> I'm like looking into the viewfinder so I can actually see if stuff's in focus. I'm sorry if I'm like just being an odd person, but uh, yeah, so. Here is, are you gonna focus? Go on, go on, focus, you know you want to. There's a little nigiri one and a little maki one and 
They're so nicely made. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, these are some of my favorite things and I actually already have um, the necklace version of this myself. Here is her rainbow plate, a stegosaurus brooch. It's so cute. Pastel rainbows, which as you can imagine, I'm a big fan of. Okay, I haven't seen these as earrings yet, but just look how cute they are. Oh, come on, focus, do the focus thing. There we go. And this is the thing that I have, which is the rainbow stegosaurus necklace. And I'm... I love it all so much. And I'm just super excited because all of this stuff is adorable. Um, and it's so beautifully made. I have another box of stuff and I don't know what it is. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if it's anything interesting, shall we? Hopefully it's not like a nail bomb or something like that. I'm really not in the mood for one of those today. Oh, I think I know, okay, I know what this is. These are some of the bath bombs that I'm gonna be stocking on the website and they are, I mean, I'm a huge like horror movie fan. So for me, this is like dream bath bombs, but it's these guys. I'm gonna see if I can do some of that like bath bomb art where you end up like submerging stuff and taking a video of it and it goes like well i'm not gonna get pictures done today because it's starting to get a bit dark and gloomy outside but thanks for unboxing stuff with me this is gonna end up being a really long vlog because it's just there's a lot that's happened this week and next week is probably gonna be very much the same because it's friday and because it's like getting on a bit in the day and all i'm gonna be doing this weekend is kind of just catching up with the artistry orders probably so it's not going to be particularly exciting not that any of this probably was anyway um but yeah i'm going to end this probably really long vlog here and say goodbye and uh, i will go and see what my son is destroying in the kitchen and i will see you next time and if you got this far thank you for tuning in and i love your faces